Like, who do we have here in the group? Who is, who is here to represent the group today? Well, um, today we have... Wait a minute. Oh, okay, there we go. Check, one, two, check, the on check, check. Boom. Check, check. All right. Today we have, you know, we have my manager and, and drummer, Deron D. Sigma, in the building. That's right. Then we got Tone, uh, Burgess. I call him Bergie. Okay. Bergie? Yeah, that's what I call him. I call him the voice. The voice. Right. Beautiful voice. Beautiful voice. She's a soprano. And we have my lovely wife, Adama, A.D. Garland, right there, uh, sings alto. And we got Sean Covington. That's Kobe. the baby? No, that's not the baby. No, that's, that's the baby. That's, 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 that's lyric. That's lyric, though. That's lyric. That's, that's, uh, that, that's how she sings backup? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She sings a little backup plays a little bit of triangle. Okay, the triangle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. She's a beast with triangle, man. I'm telling you. All sorts of tricks. Then we got, um, we got my guitar player, who's, uh, who's my music director, uh, Deontay uh, Willis in the house. And we got my keyboard player, Drew, Drewski, Thomas, in the house. We got the bass player, Danielle Daly, in the house. So yeah, pretty much everybody's in the house. Oh, wow. And you got me, Dennis Garvin Jr. All right. Okay. So how did you guys, like, all to get together? Like, were you all solo acts and you all came together? Did you meet each other in church or school, in the neighborhood, the neighborhood watch? Like, how did it all come together? Uh, well, I'm Deron, the manager at TFC. Um, me and Dennis actually went to high school together. Okay. And, um and college together. So, you know, one, one day we was in, in, um, in college, we thought of forming a go-go band. And that really just didn't work. We had no shows, we barely even had a band. So, well, like, what, like, what, what, what happened? What was the whole breakdown? Why did the go-go uh, I think we really didn't have a vision. We just kind of just wanted to do a show and just be around some homies. You know? okay. <laughs> So, you know, we've been both raised in church. Dennis is a PK, practice kid. Um, we decided to switch it over and do something for Christ. As soon as we changed it over, I mean, our group just took over. Okay. What about the, uh, the other members of the group here? How do we add, add everybody else? All right, well, pretty much. Um, it, it basically started out like family and friends. Like, we just sat in his room and put a list together. It was like, all right, let's... Let's hit this person up, let's hit this person up. All right, nah, not this person. You know what I mean? You know. But um, pretty much, you know, you know, I, me and my wife we was dating at the time, so you know, of course she was in there anyway. And then uh You better be she was like, I better be in the group. Not your wife. I better go wherever you go. So you know, and then you got um, you know, Sean we, you know, we was talking to Sean for like a while before he joined and um the bass player was actually probably outside of us, it's probably the longest. A member that's been here pretty much since the beginning, and he brought on the keyboard player Drew, and we was hitting uh, at a couple places uh, like indulge and stuff when we met Deontay. <laughs> so you know we kind of like put it together, and then you know Tony, and you know and you know and then she came on, and so that's pretty much how. That no, wasn't well, he just and then Tony. That's all he said. Okay, that's fine. All right. So like like what is like with so many different people like what is a music making process? Do you all get together and write or is it one person that writes and everybody else just comes together and performs it? How does that work? Well, I mean, uh, as far as like like our first project that's coming out, um, titled Believe, um, pretty much I sat around like um, did a couple things like because at first I was really trying to be like more of a neo solo type artist. I didn't have any lyrics, so we put the stuff together. Um, I gave them the music, the band pretty much um, brought the stuff to life. Um, you know, and then I wrote, me and my wife co-wrote most of the stuff on the album. They run is actually um, helped write a um, song that will be performing later. Yeah. Um, so, you know, pretty much kind of put it together. And, and now, you know, they just, I just say, just go with it. And they come with the musical ideas and we just put it together. So we're pretty much a collaboration of everybody helping out with the vocal arrangements, um, musical arrangements, stuff like that. So we kind of do it together. 
Now, you see and hear a lot, we've had a lot of R&B artists here and gospel artists here, and there's always that kind of, that line where I was an R&B artist until this, or I was a gospel artist until this. Did you, got, did you ever have that moment, like where you said, okay, I'm gonna, I'm not gonna do the, you know. Well, honestly, for me, I mean, like I said, being a PK kid growing up in church, playing in church, singing in church, going to church, three or four times a week, you know, um, I so he was, was like an all week in church? Mm, here and there. Here and there? Okay. You know, but, um, you know, for real, I mean, really for me, I mean, it was kind of like me going against what, what was already set for me. Okay. And um, not saying that the RB thing couldn't have worked, but it, as you see, we tried to go go band. I was thinking about doing my own thing, no success at all. But once we put this together and really put God forth, then that's when things really start turning around. That's when the group formed together. That's when we have the people we have now, the songs that we got now. And, Album is done now, so you know. It's probably a whole lot easier getting gigs as a as a gospel band than it is as a go-go band. You think? Mm, no. It's, it, no. It, it, I mean, being on, honestly, being on both sides, in a go-go band, R&B band, gospel band, quartet group, whatever, it has its difficulties. You know what I'm saying? Like each spot has its own little nuances and different things that you kind of got to move around. Like club, you might gotta have a, a four or six song demo. And you want to hand to them and say, here, you know, listen, check my music out. Gospel group, sometimes you can be like, oh, well, you know, my, my nephew sing. We're going to bring him to a program. You know, sometimes, right. and it, it all depends. But I would probably say maybe on the church side, probably this is easy. Yeah, because you kind of have a built-in audience right there. Like, boom, we're going to do my church next week. We're going to do your church next week. Whether, whether we got a church tour. Yeah. Bow. Yeah. 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 Whether you do it, you're right. You're right. It don't matter. It don't matter. Yeah. Whether you sound good or whether you don't, they just invite you out. <laughs> Okay. Are we are we ready? Is, is the song ready yet? All right. So all right, we're ready to hear the song. This is a single, "Wonderful You Are" from Dennis Garland Jr. and TFC. All right, let's hear it. So you listen to Wide Open Radio with Rob Anthony. One, two, three, TFC. Here we go. Lord, you're awesome. I want to take the time out to see how wonderful you are Listen There has never been a greater God The one who sent his son to die for me He gave his life and oh how wonderful you are No greater love I found in all the earth you give me so much joy and there is none like you oh god how wonderful you are and you you are lord and king of kings and i
Very nice. Dennis Garland Jr. in the TFC. Very nice. Give it up. That was, that was hot. I thought I heard a little bit of auto tune in there. Was that a little bit of auto tune? Uh -huh. Okay. And Joe was still hot though. Okay. And um, I gotta say, I'm doing a play right now. It's uh, called Lift Every Voice and Sing, and it's about black history through music. And there's some gospel in there. And somehow, some way, I got roped into singing a little bit. Um, so I definitely have an appreciation for what you guys do and how hard it is and getting all the voices together and knowing who should sing what part, what key, and all that good stuff. So I definitely kind of have a better appreciation for good gospel music, for sure that I may not have had necessarily before. And I, and I, and I must say that I always do feel good when the, when the songs just sound right and it sounds good. And I felt, and I feel good after hearing that song. I appreciate it, I appreciate it. Well, we actually have an um, a album release um, coming up. Um, so we have a CD release February 23rd. What day of the, what day of the week is that? Saturday. That's a Saturday. Saturday okay. I'll be free on Saturday soon. We'll talk about that in a second. <laughs> but yeah. Um, yeah, so where, where would that be? Or is the location TBA? No, no, the location is actually um, 3816 Bexley Place, Sula, right next to Upscales. If that is the wrong address, <laughs> everybody know what Upscales is? It's Sula right off St. Barnabas. Upscales, what's that? Upscales Ballroom. Okay, I got you. That should be pretty close then, because we're in Forestville, so that shouldn't be too far. Yeah, it's right there. Like, okay. It's right, literally in the right afternoon across. or evening or? Um, it's at 5 p.m. Okay, yeah. right, I might try to make it. I might. I know I always kind of tell people oh, I'm gonna come out, but I'm gonna actually really seriously make effort to come out. Yeah, come on. It's de we're definitely gonna do something um, different, something that's not normally done on the gospel side. So it's gonna be pretty nice. All right, I'm looking forward to it. Are we ready? Are we ready to set up the performance yet? Yeah, definitely. Okay. All right. So I'm gonna get out the way, but y'all kind of do your thing here. So um, the next song we're gonna perform is off our album uh, titled Believe. <laughs> Um, this is a song that was actually written by um, myself, uh, my wife Adama, and uh, the manager, uh, Dayron. Um, he was actually sitting in the living room of my place and put the song together, and this is what we have, so. All right, ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together. Live performance right here, some gospel right here. Unplugged here, Dennis Garland Jr. and the TFC. sometimes in life that you tend to go through different situations and sometimes you feel like God isn't hearing your prayers but we just come today to just encourage somebody out there in radio land that if you continue to believe in Christ that he will see you through your situations no matter what the circumstance may be no matter what the situation may be no matter what storm it is that you're going through if you continue to put your trust in God he'll see you through you gotta believe it.
This is Dennis Garland Jr. and TFC. Uh, TFC stands for the Followers of Christ. As you can see, we're all here. We're very excited about February 23rd. Our CD will be dropping on that day. February 23rd, we'll be having our CD release uh, out Suitland at uh, New Creation in Christ Ministries, 3816 Bexley Place, Suitland, Maryland, 20746, right next to Upscale's Ballroom. Uh, before... Uh, we go, I want to introduce the members of TFC. We want to start from my left right here. What's going on? You've reached 240-412-5967. Not in at the moment. We'd love to see you at the CD release. My name is Dayron Sigler. I'm the drummer and manager of the group. Please make sure you come out and support this great ministry. We're doing some big things. That was good, y'all. Sean Covington, I sang tenor. Come out and support. I'm Madama Garland. I sing alto, and I can't wait to see you then. Tony Burgess, I sing soprano. If you want to hear some good unison and harmony, you need to come out. Hey, I'm Danelle Daly. I play the bass, and you should come out and hear something good. I'm Andrew Thomas, and I'm on keyboards. All right, so there you have it, all the members of TFC. Um, we, Like I said, we're just very excited about this CD, about the move of God and what he's doing in our group. And we're just looking to just help to advance, advance the kingdom of God through song, through music ministry. Uh, listen, our CD release is going to be something nice. It's going to be a nice treat. It's going to be a little different from what you all are normally used to uh, with CD releases from gospel artists. So, all right, there. All right, boo. All right, I'm wrapping up. That's, that means I got to wrap it up. So, February 23rd, make sure you're there. Right next to Upscale's Ballroom, New Creation in Christ Ministries, 5 p.m. Make sure you're there. Peace.